right, let's get going. Let's start with our warm up. We're going to do our 30 minute Pilates session. Today is sort of a basics class, just loosening off the body, strengthening everywhere. We don't make it too complicated on a Friday morning. Let's roll those shoulders, breathing in, breathing out. Let's go for two more. Nice, last one. Arms out to the side. Rolling those shoulders from the rotator cuff. If anything hurts, please don't do this. That's it for anyone who's injured their shoulders. Loosening off the rotator cuff. That's it. And then let's go for big circles with those shoulders. That's it, big circles. Moving those arms forward, we're just having a good loosen off. That's it. I hear lots of clicks and cracks, so don't be alarmed if you do too. All right, standing up nice and tall. Let's go for our roll downs. Feet hip distance apart. Pull that belly button in. Soften your knees. And a nice breath out. You're going to start curling down. Drop your chin onto your chest. Dropping all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Nice. And then on a breath out, curling up. Tucking that pelvis under, stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other, sliding those shoulders down and back, and head comes up last. Let's go for two more. Breathing in and out. Nice. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. And on a breath out, curling up, stacking those vertebrae. Feeling a beautiful stretch between those segments. Nice. Right, last one, and then we're going down onto the floor. Breathing in and out. Let those arms hang completely down to the floor. Head relaxed and coming down onto your knees. Let's place that left leg in front, leaning forward onto that leg. Making sure your knee is over your ankle. Slide that back leg back and let's roll those hips side to side. Loosening off that cap. Really try and drop those hips down. That's it. Nice. Good. From here, sending your bum back. Digging that front heel in. Straightening that front knee. Getting that knee straight. Move your hands wherever you need. And then coming forward as you come chest breathing out and forward we're going for five sliding and gliding those tissues making sure your knee goes straight every time last one amazing let's change legs Leaning forward onto that leg, really drop those hips forward. So you're getting a nice stretch in that back hip flexor. And from here, roll those hips side to side. Nice. Breathing out. Perfect. Sending your bum back, digging that heel in, straightening that front knee. And coming forward, lift your chest. Breathing out. Sliding and gliding, feeling that stretch in your hamstring that's in the front, front leg, back of your front leg. Two more. Last one. Nice, perfect. All right, staying on your hands and knees, we're going to go into our hover. So making sure your hands are directly under your shoulders, knees directly under the hips, tuck your toes under at the back. Pull that belly button in away from the floor, sliding those shoulders down. We're going to lift the knees off the floor and hold it. Let's go. Breathing out to lift. For five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Four more. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Perfect. Three more. Really slide those shoulders down away from the ears. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. 
two more, breathing out, lift, five, four, three, two, one, and down, we got last one, and lift, five, four, three, two, one, and down, beautiful, let's just take it into a child's pose, have a little stretch, open up those knees, breathing out, beautiful when you're ready coming back onto your hands and knees we're going to go into our bird dog so with the bird dog we're going to slide opposite arm and leg along the floor when you get to as far as you can you want to keep extending as you lift make sure you don't arch your back you want to keep this nice and strong reach for the wall above and in front and behind slide them back down on the floor changing sides when you change sides, you want to make sure you don't get a massive transfer of weight. So you want to try and use your abs to hold you still. Right, let's go. Opposite hand and foot slide on the floor. When it's as far as you can go, as you lift, keep reaching away from your body. <sighs> Pull your belly button in. Back down, sliding back. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Really make sure you do this nice and slowly. Reach it away beautiful and down so while we're doing this we're focusing on those abs pulling it away from the floor holding your shoulders and your hips facing the floor slide that shoulder blade down as you lift your arm tummy pulled in squeezing from the butt lengthen that leg away beautiful we got three more each side tummy pulled in reach 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 and down squeeze those shoulder blades away from the ears pull that belly button in lift reach nice two more each side stretch and down nice work we got one more each side Keeping your belly button pulled in, we're going nice and slowly, lengthen it away, tummy in. Last one. And now I want you to hold it here. So hold that leg up, place that hand behind your head, and we're going to crunch knee to elbow, meet in the middle, and then stretch it away. Make sure you lift that elbow, perfect. Crunch and lengthen, tummy pulled in. Breathing out. Let's go for five, four. Tummy pulled in. Two. Last one. Beautiful job. Well done. Let's change sides. So, other leg, other hand behind your head. Tummy in. Let's go. Crunch knee to elbow. Lengthen away. Breathing out as you crunch. Tuck. Stretch. Nice. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful job. From here, let's go into a nice stretch. Tuck your toes under. Lift your bottom. Go into that downward dog. Think of pushing your chest between your shoulders, dropping those heels down towards your the floor. Stick your bottom up to the ceiling. And bring your knees back down. Beautiful. We're going to go into our shoulder taps. So I'm going to give you a few positions. The basic position is on your hands and knees. And you want to from here, tap tap so if you've got any injuries and you're struggling or you're finding it too difficult otherwise you can go into this modified position on your knees or you're going to go into a full plank have your feet nice and wide you want your hands closer together and your feet wider and your shoulders and your hips must stay facing the floor so from here we're going for 10 pick your position squeeze your bottom tummy in let's go breathing out Really focus on keeping those abs connected. Shoulders and hips facing the floor. Tummy pulled in. Five more. 
four, three, two, one, dropping it down. Well done. Coming to lie on your back. Lying on your back, we're going to work our butt and our hamstrings. Place your feet nice and wide like your mat to start. And let's just roll those knees side to side. So we're getting a little bit of mobility. Rolling the knees side to side. Breathing out, that's it. Loosening off the back, the hips. Let's go for one more each side. Beautiful. All right. Feet, hip distance apart. Have your heels as close to your bottom as you can manage. We're going to go for our pelvic curl to start. So on a breath out, pull that belly button in. Push through your heels. Start peeling that bottom off the floor, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Squeeze your butt. And on a breath out, curling down, focusing on pulling in those abs. Such a basic exercise, but done right, incredibly useful. Breathing out, tummy in, push through your heels, lifting up those hips. Remember not to hyperextend, you want to keep that posterior tilt. Curling down, we've got eight more, then we're going to hold it there. Breathing out, lift, squeeze. And think of a string of pearls as you roll your spine down. Nice work. Tummy pulled in, making sure as you roll down, your coccyx is the last thing to touch. We've got four more. Make sure those abs are connected still. You can have a little feel on the inside of your hip bones. Great job. Two more, then we're going to hold it up there. Breathing out, squeeze. And down. Nice, last one. Now, holding it here, we're going to do little pulses. So I want you to think of squeezing up. So you kind of release your butt, squeeze up. And I want the focus being up. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful. Let's go for 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Curling all the way down to the floor. Hug your knees into your chest. All right. We're now going to do a similar exercise, same starting position. We're going to hold it up there. We're going to walk our feet out away from your bottom and walk them back in. And this activates the hamstrings. So what it'll look like, we're going to breathe out, lift the hips up. And then you're going to walk your heels away from you as far as you can manage. And then walk them back in trying to keep your pelvis nice and stable so you're walking your feet out let's go only go as far as you feel comfortable feel those hamstrings and coming in keep your belly button pulled in tummy pulled in we got five more walking those feet out and in making sure your abs are engaged so you protect your back tummy in that's it Walking them as far away as you can. Three more. Beautiful. Two. That's it. We got one more. Walk them out. Keep your hips level, tummy in. And drop it down. Nice work. Straighten your left leg up to the ceiling. Hold behind your thigh. Just have a little stretch. Point your foot up and down. Nice. Good. Let's change legs. Try and have this leg straight up to the ceiling and point up and down. Beautiful. All right. We're going to go into our ab crunch. So from here, hands behind your head. Knees in line with your hips. On a breath out, you're going to tilt that pelvis. Pull your belly button in. Chin onto your chest. You want to crunch, shorten those abs. Get your shoulders as close to your hip bones as you can. Pause and hold. 
and then slowly down. As you take your upper body down, don't let this go. So you want to keep this connection. Right, let's go. Breathing out, crunch. Hold, pause, breathe in. And breathing to lower out, lower down. And crunch, breathing out. Pause, hold, breathe in, creep, crunching. And down. Making sure you're not pulling on the neck. It's literally those abs that are pulling up your shoulders. And down. Nice and slow, breathing out to lift. Breathing in and out. Keep your bottom crunched as well. Squeeze your bum. Nice. And down. We've got five more. Chin on your chest. Crunch. Pause and hold. Don't pull on your neck. Make sure it's your abs shortening that pulls you up. Your head is supported. Great job. And down. Two more. Crunch. And down. And last one. And down. Beautiful. Well done. Right. Rolling up. Let's come up into standing. We're going to go into a little bit of lunges. Working those legs. So let's start with our static lunge. You're going to put your right leg in front, stepping that left leg quite far behind you. So it's a nice wide lunge. You want to make sure that when you step back, you keep your feet hip distance apart. Don't put your foot behind the other one because then your balance is really tricky. So literally just step back. Up nice and tall, pull the belly button in, shoulders down and back. We're going to drop down in the middle and up. As you go down, try not to go forward. Literally drop down, pushing up through this front leg. Breathing in. Nice, keeping that chest up. Beautiful control. Let's go for five. Pushing up through that heel. Four. Tummy stays in. Great job. Three. Two. One, now hold it here. We're going to pulse. Little pulses down. Tummy pulled in. Nice. For 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Now from here, I want you to lean forward onto that front leg. Your back leg is kind of resting, just tapping down. Tilt your body forward. Tummy pulled in. You're going to bring that back leg in and out. This front leg stays dead still. Tummy pulled in. Tapping in and out. Beautiful. Let's go for 10. 9. Scoop those abs in. 8. 6. Lift your chest. 5. 3. 2. 1. And relax. Well done. Beautiful. So that front leg really works with that. Let's turn it around. Other leg in front. Left leg in front. Nice wide stance. Up nice and tall. Try and bring your chest up so that you're not leaning forward just yet. That's it. And let's drop down and up. Remember to push through this front heel as you're coming up. Breathing in and out. Shoulders down and back. Perfect. Let's go for five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Holding it down here. Let's pulse. Little pulses. Ten. Six. Chest lifted. Tummy in. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to. Keep that front leg dead still, but keep your tummy in. Chest lifted. We're going to bring this leg in and out for 10. Nine. Perfect. Try and lift your chest, shoulders down and back. Tummy in. Front leg stays dead still. Four more. Three. Two. One. And shake it out. Beautiful. All right, we're going to stay up and standing and work our shoulder blades. Standing with your feet hip distance apart. 
you're going to hinge your bum back so we come into the slightly bent forward position tummy pulled in away from the floor make sure your bum is behind your heels hands spread you're going to push your hands back towards the ceiling from your shoulder blades and then breathing out pulling them up so we're going to push squeeze those shoulder blades and lift i want your chest lifted there must be tension all the way through to your fingers squeeze from your shoulder blades and those shoulder blades track down your back push and lift beautiful let's go for five tummy pulled in four squeeze three two last one and rolling all the way down to the floor have a stretch and coming back down onto your knees okay perfect from here we're nearly done we're going to come onto your knees right leg left leg out to the side dropping that hand down to the side in this position your hand knee and foot are all in one line we're going to lift up this leg so we're going to go for 10 tummy pulled in let's go and i want that leg dropping down slowly breathing in and out let's go nice shoulders down and back keep those abs in beautiful five try and lift that leg in line with your body four three two one perfect now from here rotate your body to the floor hands on the floor keep that leg out behind you tummy in we're going to lift it up and down for 10 squeeze from the butt keep your tummy pulled in back still five four three two one bringing that knee in well done left leg right leg out to the side changing sides so dropping that hand to the floor make sure they're all in one line hips towards me tummy pulled in and let's lift for 10 slowly down nine keep this leg dead straight great job five four three two one beautiful rotating your body towards the floor shoulders down and back tummy in let's go for 10 squeeze your bum nine excellent five four three two one perfect coming to lie on your back we're finishing off with some abs lying on your back with your knees bent hands behind the head we're going to twist to one leg we're going to lift up the leg twist and coming back down as you twist i want you to think of keeping this elbow on the floor as you twist towards it so you're kind of pivoting round that elbow and you get that nice crunch and squeeze then we're going to add to it so let's twist for 10 tummy pulled in breathing out nine lovely eight keep those abs connected beautiful four more three two one now hold it here keep that crunch and this other leg you're going to lift it up and down tapping down for ten nine perfect keep twisting get that shoulder to your knee five four three two one and relax it down well done have a little breather let's go towards the other side on a breath out you're going to crunch to that leg for 10 let's go 
twist one breathing out as you twist make sure you change legs perfect four more three two one holding it here now lift this leg up and down for ten keep twisting scooping in those abs four more three two one and relax placing your feet down on the floor beautiful job well done right staying in this position place your arms on the floor above your head so they're sort of 45 degrees up palms facing upwards let's take your right ankle cross it onto your left knee and you're going to pull those knees down to the right side so you're opening up those hips and i want you to stretch your left arm away from you as much as you can so you feel a nice stretch into your chest reach it away try and push those knees down to the floor that's it breathing out look at that left hand so we're really getting a nice twist and bringing those knees back up to the middle keep that leg there don't change it bringing it down now to your left side you can use your left hand to pull that knee down and i want you to reach that right arm away from you now as much as you can stretch it i'm trying to touch the foam roller knees towards the floor looking at that right hand so you're twisting your whole spine breathing out nice oh it's a good one for my shoulder and coming back into the middle well done right hand stay there now let's change left ankle onto your right knee pulling those knees down to the left side reaching away with that right arm stretch it trying to push those knees down to the floor reach that arm away breathing out bringing those knees back into the middle and we're going to change to the other side as in pull the knee down to your other side crossing it over use your right hand to pull those knees down and stretch that left arm away so pull that knee down towards the floor use your right hand to pull it down reach that left arm away from you breathing out stretching out your low back lovely and coming back hugging those knees into your chest rocking side to side now in this position let's just loosen off our neck i want you to roll your head over your left shoulder and then rolling it over your right it's so nice doing it in this position because there's no strain on the neck and we can just loosen it off let's go one more each side and breathing out to roll up into sitting amazing guys well done i'm very impressed with both of you for being here